That kid that came from the street, striving to be something, anything, because no one really believed in me. You could be whatever you want to be, that's what I heard them say. Picture me, five years old, holding a gun. Then picture me, ten years later, what was I to become? As a Latino, you, you grow up with this false identity, I believe, you know, believing that you have to be strong, you have to be macho, you can't let nobody disrespect you, and, and in the gang culture, it gets even deeper than that. We believe that we have to um, be this. I was 20 years old, fighting a life sentence, and seeing men that had been already incarcerated for 20 years, like, he came in a young man, and now he was gray. It was right in front of my face, and, and I just really, listening to that was like a huge thing that helped me change my life. What do you gain off of machismo stuff, you know? And, and just really like teaching my son that. I always have those moments like, damn, like I went to jail at his age, like, and I look at him, he's just an innocent kid. Like I wasn't supposed to like, like have to survive that world. Like you're supposed to enjoy life at that time. Cholos are soldiers, you know? And, and, and even soldiers at war, they have to smile, they have to laugh. A good joke will make a cholo smile. Every cholo's child will make them smile. Los Angeles, New York, we're suffering and we're dying, and the gangs are continuing, the violence is continued, and unless you talk about it, that is the only way that you could possibly heal. Me too.